before, no? Oral drinks. No, because uh, or smoke, because it will affect the reading. Because just you take a hot coffee, then you will take temperature. So what will be your reading? It will be high. And the patient will be telling, uh, you mean I have fever? But you have taken a coffee, hot coffee or any cold drinks, okay? So take, if example, uh, you're hurry to take that, the temperature, you can take it by other road, the axilla, okay? 15 to 20 minutes rest now. Mm, that would be resting. So I have here. So anything in the hospital. Ano ba? Ano ba Kim? Ano ba talaga Kim? For example, I have a patient here. So still, I'm using the thermometer that is glass thermometer, no? So of course, I identify my patient. Hi, Mr. Mr. Smith. <laughs> Ikaw pa. So they take your vital signs. Is it okay? Did you take any coffee? Pala kami? Mrs. Smith, ako na paraan. Three drinks so like gold, uh, 15 minutes ago, like that. No? Britney. Uh, okay, so the patient should be known. So, so I will let the patient okay. also, example, the patient just walk from outside. No, just like that. So we will not take the vital signs or any blood pressure especially because it will be uh, inaccurate in the game. He just walk from outside or from the sunlight, no? So, maybe so it will uh, let him rest, mm -hmm. yes. okay? Yeah. Or if the patient just cried, he was crying, mm -hmm. screaming. Yeah. Yeah. So do not take the vital signs or especially the yeah, blood man. pressure mm -hmm. yeah, because it will be inaccurate. So there is emotions, no? So for example, I have here, so I have to have thermometer. So uh, we, uh, we know that other thermometers like digital, now at least digital, no? Uh, it is a quick reading only. But this thermometer, it's a old-fashioned thermometer. But still you have to know because still many mm -hmm. facilities or maybe at home still we are using, right? This is very cheaper one to take the thermometer, uh, temp temperature, I mean. Okay, so we have the digital now, we have even the, this one, the, for the baby especially, this is good, no, tympanic, okay, tympanic style. So I will have just used this one, but of course, uh, hand hygiene, don't forget, alright, what else? Consider the situation of the patient, the comfort of the patient, and what else we will do, and also, for example, because blood pressure, for taking blood pressure, Usually we talk, uh, we will use the BP cuff. This is BP cuff, no? So we will make sure the arm is free from any injury. The arm is free from any uh, IV cannula. Mm -hmm. Or maybe our patient is doing hemodialysis. Okay, there, there are devices there implanted or uh, mm -hmm. graft, no? So we will not destroy that graft. So that is most important because we just take, ah, I took the vital sense and you destroy the graph that is very uh, so this one. No? That, you have to select that is not infected, yeah. And then for example, the patient uh, had mastectomy. You know what is mastectomy is? He has a cancer and there was a removal of the breast tissues on the left, for example. So do not apply the BP cuff, mm -hmm. okay? And again, uh, if there is a wound, there is a fracture or broken bones, do not apply the cuff on that, uh, on that arm, okay? There is pain, do not apply. There is redness, do not apply. Anything that is abnormalities, do not cause uh, this one to become worse, no? Or to become, you are adding injury to the patient, okay? What else? I mentioned already. Now, for example, patient is hypertensive. We will take the blood pressure before the taking medication. Bucket. Why? For example, uh, uh, he's a uh, hypertension. Hypertension, no? Yes. So he's taking, of course, medication. So example, he's taking at 10 a.m. So he's taking at 10 a.m. So five minutes maybe before we can take the uh, blood pressure. Because maybe, maybe he has the very low, no? Usually, it's not like, oh, you are hypertensive, your blood pressure always high. But if he's in the medication already regularly, 
sometimes it will be low or sometimes he is having other other problems so it will cause low blood pressure then if we will give the medication and we don't know the blood pressure we will be adding no or else we don't know that patient will have the very low reading of blood pressure so what will happen so if you are causing injury or patient may may have the very low or high potential okay what else Mm. Hand hygiene, so you can wear gloves. What else? So you need a, uh, uh, by the way, watch. Uh -huh. Watch, no? A watch with a uh, second hand. Second hand, the one faster, no? Mm -hmm. Because we will measure it the full minute, meaning 60 seconds. seconds. No? 60 seconds. So always remember, always remember by heart, at least the normal values. Normal values because you cannot say uh, when the patient will ask, uh, Miss, what is my this one? That is normal, abnormal. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, huh? <laughs> Go <good. laughs> uh, Wait, huh? I'll come back. <laughs> uh, then you will become busy. Uh, it is not good, no, that you will um, uh, appearing to be a uh, what we call this. And without knowledge, no, and knowledgeable, no, so it's really shameful for our patient to, to consult Google. So by heart, uh, by by brain and by heart, memorize at the normal values. For adult, at least for adult, adult meaning to say 18 and above. Okay, that's the tip there. Because easily you will tell, ah oh, yes, uh, you're uh, normal, normal for you, and the patient will have. Confident, I trust to you. When you say, um, 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 um. <laughs> So if I'm your patient, I, I will really tell you how that you don't know. Better than me, I know. Because then our patient, maybe you are, they are testing your knowledge. They are. They know. Now, for example, I am a nurse. I, I will just tell, as if I, I don't know. I am saying, oh, really? Pretend. Then when you go out from my room, I will tell no, nah, I will never let this uh, uh, nursing assistant or the nurse to come to my room or touch me or give medication. I will not trust, no? Okay, so I have a patient here. I explain already. I identify because maybe you will be in the nursing home. A lot of people uh, elderly there. So sometimes they don't know their name. So what else I can verify their identification? What else? Aside from what's your name, I will ask. ID Van. ID Van of the Rigutu. ID Van, no? ID Van identification ID bracelet, no? Now, for example, uh, he is uh, Ahmed, and this is also Ahmed. Yes. I will not tell Ahmed. Uh, they both will tell the Aiwa. Uh, Anna Ahmed. <laughs> tell Ahmed. In the hospital, like that, no? Yeah, there's so the last name, same 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 name, yeah, correct. Patient safety. Instead, that medication is for him. You give for him, and he died because he has allergy. So that's the the very very uh, basic, but it is really happening. Very very careful. Yes. It happens when because uh, there is uh, food delivery. Same name, Ibrahim, uh, Ibrahim Muhammad. Same name. Mel Sobdikal and Mel Orto. Same name. But the, del the delivery is Mel Orto. But the delivery is uh, Mel Sobdikal. Yeah. 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 yeah, but the problem is, if, for example, that, mo uh, that patient is uh, uh, not supposed to eat. And they deliver it because the name is the same. That patient is for surgery. When patient will you keep the food, they will eat. No. Some people they will eat. Ah, there is some food here. That is my name. They will eat. And what will happen? That is a big issue. Patients should fasting when surgery at least 
at least six hours. Ah, yeah, six Maybe hours. You, you will be in trouble if you are the nurse, okay? So, uh, any, kind, any kind of surgery? Any kind of surgery? Kind of surgery? surgery? Uh. Yeah, at least six hours. Even though you will, yeah, the, the doctor will tell no, we will do local, but that is the standard, no? Because maybe it cannot be done in local anesthesia, you will do the general anesthesia or other kind of anesthesia, no? That is safety for our patient. So anyway, so for example, this is Amit Muhammad, Amit Muhammad. Again, what is will I will do? Because the, the ID band, the ID is band, one. no? Uh, ID band because there is date of birth. Yes, date of birth. Uh, MRN, MRN, date of birth. MRN number. MRN number. Okay? So you don't have to tell, for example, the patient is having no MRN or something, you ask his ID. Because some patient they will remove. Mm. You have to find out that because if it is elderly, she will only tell you are uh, Mrs. Smith or uh, Johanna Miss Smith. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they will also tell that I am. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Because you you this you don't have to tell that I uh, this one are you Muhammad Ahmed. Sometimes they are the very naughty people. Yes, they will tell. Yes, always yes. Do not uh, ask. Ask them, what's your name? What's your um, age? Okay. When is your birthday? And see the band. The band. If it is correct, that what he is telling. Maybe he is telling because he wants to be younger. <laughs> yes, yeah. that, uh, there are patients like that. There are patients like that. You are supposed is a uh, female uh, nurse and the uh, uh, male they, they will verify they will this one not thinking that uh, this is not important okay basic but very important okay all right so anyway that's the identification ha huh? basic all right so i have a patient i explained already i asked that we don't have any any drinks cold drinks or hot drinks or any smoke Okay, some smoker, I, uh, it will affect also the, if you take it by oral, okay? So there, I told you already there are many roads, no, for, um, but uh, nowadays, we cannot put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that and the next about. patient put it in here. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, problem. because uh, infection control is highly followed, no? Okay, so we have uh, this one here, and if example, you use this one glass, of course, this is. Uh, there are also still glass, but they're non non mercury. Mm -hmm. huh? There's a big okay. Yeah, non mercury. There is a probe, disposable probe. Yeah, disposable. On this, it's not mm -hmm. be directly to a patient. Okay. So first, you have to do is uh, since the, this is a mercury, this mercury will go down, will go up, depends to the ter temperature of our patient. So I level. Okay, so if this one is not uh, on the 35 degrees Celsius, this is Celsius and Fahrenheit, no? Okay, so you have to shake it, make sure it will not hit on any, uh, what you call this, uh, surfaces. Okay, so make sure it is already in that 35 okay. eye level. This line, no? Have you seen the line, right? There is line. You can see line. Indeed. The white one. May line yan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May line. Yeah, yeah. White. Yeah. 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 Same Okay, so eye so level. Wala ka level. Wala ka level. Wala ka level. Always remember eye level. Kasi natutunan na natin yung ano. In anything, if you are having a, what we call this? We will We will note if you will really study or you learn something. This eye level, okay? You remember the, the body mechanics, okay? So do not read like this, do not read like this, okay? Eye level, okay? Any measurement, okay? When you measure your urine output, any liquid measurement, you measure syrups for, for medications, that is eye level you have to see, okay? So I have here, I will put in the probe there. Uh, for example, the, the patient doesn't have anything like that, so I can put in the mouth. Okay, so I will put in the mouth under the 
tang bakit uh-huh. under the tang why under the tang under the tang why under the tang because it uh, because it was so it will be there for example this one is for example this is um uh, digital it will take like seconds only to read there will be two then it will read so under the tongue so do i have to leave the thermometer no by the mouth of the patient no you have to hold right we have to hold then it will uh, alarm like uh, a, a tone uh, uh, what we call that a, a tone that it will finish, finish no the reading is done okay so do, do not uh, do not also take oral temperature if the patient cannot push the mouth we cannot use oral uh, temperature if it is a child below five years old because you cannot tell the child closed mouth is not okay it's dangerous for the child also if it is like this so that's why we recommend that uh, the panic no all right so i have a patient so i will wait then immediately i will have to i will remove the probe the probe the pl- cover that is disposable then i will have to read then after reading I will inform the patient that I will disinfect. So disinfection of our thermo- thermo- thermometer is I forgot to tell you. So now disinfection no before take before the use before taking is from the tip to the base. I mean like this. Okay. After using the opposite. Okay. But you use the di- different uh, this one different. Uh, new one okay so i have taken the temperature of the patient then i told your temperature is 37 okay now the next i will state is the pulse no vital sign no pulse pulse i will take usually the common place that we will take the pulse is the radial so using my three fingers this is my okay that is my radial pulse Okay, radial pulse, ulnar pulse, but this is the common, this one, okay? Then, I will see first for a few seconds, if it, uh, I will have to palpate, then that's the time I will count in full minute, okay? So, you can feel your own pulse. So, the, the one that is pulsating, no, against my yeah. finger, that is one, two, three four five you will count according to the mm-hmm. pulsation to you against your finger mm-hmm. not the one that you will count here ha huh? one two no you will count only for example one, minute. one full minute if you are expert and the patient is normal it will be 30 seconds but if patient is having irregular pulse full minute okay uh, again if you are if the patient is normal patient and then he is uh, stable you can count in 30 seconds times two to calculate in 60 seconds but if patient is having a problem with that, i mean uh, in monitoring okay uh, having irregular pulses we have to uh, count in full minute okay full minute that means 60 seconds okay so okay so i have already then I will tell the patient uh, directly, I will not tell now the patient, I will directly because I will not inform him that I am counting his breathing. Why? Because it should follow the, the, this one. It is in the uh, this one, no, video. Why I will not tell the patient that I'm, I will count the breathing? So that you can determine is uh, is uh, normal or... <laughs> there is a normal it is it is it is a false breathing na tayo. breathing bucket because i don't want him to be conscious or holding his breath when i will inform oh. him so because be yeah just uh, i will directly after my one minute pulse taking mm-hmm. directly i will mm-hmm. continue i will re- not remove my finger i will have to see the chest rising Mm. His chest, mm. counting again respiration. 
Yeah. yeah. So after pulse, directly, I will not remove my hand. I will see the chest rise and fall of the chest. Then again, I will count. One, one, inhale, exhale, one count. Because if I will inform June, June, I will, I will count conscious. your breathing. I will hold it. Mm, let me see if you can count. So he will hold it or he will be fast breathing. Because sometimes people will act no, that they are not okay. Okay? So that's it, Lim. Huh? I'm just joking. Okay? So anyway, that's the thing that we don't inform our patient that oh i'm counting your breathing no it will be inaccurate okay whatever it did again respiratory rate the normal respiratory rate for adult is 12 to 20 breath per minute so per minute so minute to see 60 seconds again one full se uh, se uh, minute we will count one inhale one exhale is twelve breathing one count okay not that one no. Okay. Oh. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale. That's why you have to see the rise and fall. Okay. Uh -huh. So after that, after the one full minute, I will tell him your pulse rate and your respiratory rate is this, this, this. Okay. The last. Okay, now. Then we will proceed to uh, blood pressure. Blood, 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 blood pressure. pressure. That is very useful. Now blood pressure will make sure the patient is in the Example, patient is sitting position, the arm should be rested in an arm rest. If the patient is in lying position, make sure that the patient leg is not crossed. And even in the patient with this, uh, with this uh, position, they will not do that. No. Or the, oh, in the four, the number four, no. Should be the leg, should be at least uh, like this, flat on the floor. Alright? Okay, so make sure my patient is, the hand is supported by a pillow because so that the brachial and his heart will be on the same level, okay? So now I will be preparing my BP cuff. This is main BP cuff. Ang galing ang, ang anong tibay to of BP cuff. Which one I will, uh, this one I will use, okay? I have to have the BP cuff. So again, there are people who are Mm. Cute, cute na mga arm. Very huge arm. Okay? So there are people who are mataba or very huge, huge, huge. We have to use the bigger calf. Okay? Patayin po kayo. Hindi yan pwede pa. Pwede. Masira yan. Hindi ko kagaan. Ano po pa naman kaya? Hindi ko kagaya. Dalawa na kami nikin. Okay, so this is, we are using Android. We are using manual. Okay? Manual. So we use manual. We have used a spigmo manometer made of the our mercury also. Okay. So nowadays it's that mercury type, that Stanby type is uh, quite expensive. No. So Android at least is this is Android. No. So this is quite not um, expensive. Okay. So again, the the cap should be at least not too small and not too big for our patient. Okay? Alright. So for June, uh, it's easy, no? So for June, it is fit on this. Okay. Now, this clothing, do I have to put over the clothing? What is the correct? The remove the clothing. The clothing should, uh, we don't have to because in the clinic, they, they, are, they are taking the blood pressure wrong, no? Because we just put here, they will just put everywhere and shh. And then class, and then finish. Whatever it is, digital or this one, that is the same will apply. No cloth on the arm. Okay. So here, so here in this, as you can see, in here there is indication artery. What is that mean? Artery, our brachial artery. So this is a radial. Okay, this is the radial. The brachial is in here. The opposite. Okay. So before I will apply the the BP cuff, I will have to palpate his brachial artery. Asa na brachial mo ma? 
Wala ata mo. May ito. Ito meron siya. Oh, break break yan. Break yan. Break yan. Break yan. So, hindi mo hanapin siya dito. Hindi mo siya hanapin dito. Hindi mo siya hanapin dito. Kasi dito siya. Dito siya. Kasi dito siya. Dito naging injek, di ba? Hindi ka magagalang. Hindi ka magagalang. Hindi ko na. Basta sabi dito naging injek. Okay? So, this is the break yan. Okay? So, that's when I'm putting the injek. Feel mo yung break yan na. You can feel the break yan. Okay? Yeah. Break yan. Okay? So, very easy. If you know where's the location, Two. If you know the location, you'll never be lost. Here, opposite, there. Hmm. Okay? Opposite. opposite. So do not uh, do like this. Nothing is there. The most uh, this palpable is in here. Okay? Why I will put this one? Because I want to see to it that my my BP cuff will not cover the brachial artery. I mean, uh, if I will use my stethoscope, I have the room for the my stethoscope so now there is an indication here artery here does a artery so there is also how many centimeters this bp cuff so do not insist that uh, you can see the very huge arm then you will insist this one uh, never at all will fit no okay so here what i will do is because this one i will put like this so the artery so i have here the, the elbow is here, sa? So, I have make sure that one to two from the elbow, I will not cover. I will not put my BP cuff like this. I will not put my BP cuff like this. So, one to two from the elbow. One to two. Or two finger breathe. Or two, two, three. Two. If uh, very small, this one I can do like this. Because I can put my, because this is the brachial I can palpate. Okay, so here. There's no cloth under the cuff, and then this is the artery, no? Because I saw I, the artery is here, so the artery word is here. Okay, so here, and then I have to. <laughs> so now, how I will know that this one is not uh, tight, not too loose, also. So what I will do, I will put my one finger and I can still move off in the under the cuff, the, the cuff okay so what I will do now I will have to either I will put like this or I will have to hang here so that I can easily see so what you will do now is feel look listen and feel we use our look listen and feel meaning to say we listen by stethoscope we look we at here mind. and we feel <laughs> LLF. Look, listen, and feel LLF. So I will just put like this, huh? Look, listen, and feel. Look, yeah. Yeah. So now, before, I don't know that the, uh, my patient is hypertensive. Okay, this is the gauge. We open. This is open. This is the close, okay? okay. So this is the uh, inflation ball. Okay, like this. Okay, if you're not ready to, because when you uh, when you press this one, there will be an air. So this one will be inflated. Mm. Then, okay, Close. it will not be inflated if it is open because the air will come out from here. So okay, it should be closed, no? Counterclockwise. Okay, when you when you open, release the air like this. Okay, if you are not uh, very familiar, no, already still the hands are not expert, you can help by the other hand. Okay, so I don't know that he is hypertensive. So what I will do is I will check the maximum pulse, maximum, sorry, maximum pressure. So how I will check the maximum pressure, I will use my fingers again, my radial pulse. I will palpate his radial pulse. Then I will inflate the cuff. I will just put like this. Okay. I will inflate the cuff. I will see here. Now what I will palpate here. Okay. It is close. I palpate here. I will see here. Okay. I will make. I will see here. When is the pulse. The radial pulse will stop. That is his maximum pressure. Now, I will have to, okay, 
inflate it is closed still i can feel the pulse it is still on 60 but still the pulse is oh, you are low low blood still 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 i can feel his pulse even in 100 okay 100 no more okay the one hand, uh, the pulse stops at 100 here 100. pressure uh, the pressure unit is mmhg millimeter in mercury okay so the pulse his radial pulse stops at 100 okay. plus then now i will add 30 that is a standard 30 wherever you go wherever you go in anywhere in the world 30 add in in manual Ah, okay. 30 remember 30 okay 30 i will add okay now i finish to um to uh, determine the maximum pressure okay so i will make sure that there is no more air in the in the cuff so everything i will release i will wait at least a few seconds or one minute because when i will inflate the the blood the blood circulation also stops from this arm, mm -hmm. from the hand. That's why some pa patient will tell, ah, already no, oh God. God. <laughs> I don't have blood now because you you <laughs> stop the circulation, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's painful. All right, now I will use my uh, stethoscope. So that the, our stethoscope, this is the air piece. Make sure there is padded. Do not use the one without padding. It's painful, no? This is the air piece. And this is the bell, the diaphragm, the bell. So there are, this one for you because it's chi, this one is uh, only the diaphragm. Okay? Uh, this one is with the bell. So the, either you use this and this one, okay? Mm. All right. So before you will use, before you, uh, this is, sometimes we can use this one for children. Ah, okay. For the child. Okay, so here, uh, before you will use, of course, if it is not your personal use, disinfect with the alcohol swatch. Mm. Okay. <laughs> then, make sure that you hear properly. Okay, arrange it in your earpiece. You have to try if you can hear. Okay, it's alright. Okay, now, because I determined already the the barricial pulse so i will put my diaphragm stethoscope in here then i will make sure that i can see properly the android or the meter i will close the doctor denis okay so i told already that i will inflate at 130 okay Okay, I am in 130. I will release slowly. Releasing slowly, huh? I will hear at the same time the first loud sound. Okay, so now what I am hearing was 